from the Pikes Peak Regional Air Show where dozens of people are being treated for heat-related illness. The Colorado Springs Fire Department says they sent several people to the hospital. Officials are calling it a mass casualty event because of the number of people affected, but so far, officials are not reporting any deaths. KRDO 13's Mackenzie Stafford spoke with many people today about their concerns. Mackenzie. Yeah, so Michael, right over here behind me, this is the triage center where people are being brought to be treated for those heat related illnesses. We've been seeing people come in and out all day. And you can see over here this way that the Colorado Springs Fire Department has a large presence here. They've confirmed around 100 people that have been brought in and out of there for treatment. Most people I spoke with leaving the event say they need more shade and water. The Pueblo National Weather Service tells me the temperatures were reaching 96 degree highs today, but with little to no clouds in the sky and the sun radiating down on the concrete, it made it feel much hotter. Event organizers did confirm that the air show did run out of free water. They say they still had vendors selling water bottles and other opportunities to fill up reusable waters at the medical tent. Many people watching quickly became dehydrated, some of which are veterans here in our military community. I spoke to one Navy vet who was excited to see the Blue Angels, but ended up leaving a little bit early because it was so hot. It's a long ways to the parking lot, and we're, my wife and I are old. So we can call a mass casualty incident when we have something like this, where we have multiple heat-related illnesses, and what that allows us to do is order more resources. More resources, including the City of Fountain sending ambulances to help out here at the air show. The fire department said multiple people started coming in here around 1.30, and that's when their special events team started to get a little bit overwhelmed with how many people were coming in with illnesses. That's when so many other people were called to help out here. And so for tomorrow, if you are attending the air show, they ask that you bring water bottles, any form of shade, umbrellas, larger hats. They also say sunscreen is very important since there is a limited amount of shade covering here. Reporting live down near the airport over here, this is Mackenzie Stafford, KRDO 13. Thank you, Mackenzie. Definitely stay hydrated out there.